Welcome. Biography of Charles Darwin, Struggle for Existence, The Survival of the Fittest. Charles Robert Darwin was an English naturalist, geologist, and biologist, best known for his contributions to the science of evolution. His proposition that all species of life have descended over time from common ancestors is now widely accepted and considered a foundational concept in science. In a joint publication with Alfred Russell Wallace, he introduced his scientific theory that this branching pattern of evolution resulted from a process that he called natural selection, in which the struggle for existence has a similar effect to the artificial selection involved in selective breeding. Darwin has been described as one of the most influential figures in human history, and he was honored by burial in Westminster Abbey. Darwin published his theory of evolution with compelling evidence in his 1859 book On the Origin of Species. By the 1870, the scientific community and a majority of the educated public had accepted evolution as a fact. However, many favored competing explanations which gave only a minor role to natural selection, and it was not until the emergence of the modern evolutionary synthesis from the 1930 to the 1950 that a broad consensus developed in which natural selection was the basic mechanism of evolution. Darwin's scientific discovery is the unifying theory of the life sciences, explaining the diversity of life. Darwin's early interest in nature led him to neglect his medical education at the University of Edinburgh. Instead, he helped to investigate marine invertebrates. Studies at the University of Cambridge encouraged his passion for natural science. His five-year voyage on HMS Beagle established him as an eminent geologist whose observations and theories supported Charles Lyell's conception of gradual geological change and publication of his Journal of the Voyage made him famous as a popular author. Puzzled by the geographical distribution of wildlife and fossils he collected on the voyage, Darwin began detailed investigations. And in 1838 conceived his theory of natural selection. Although he discussed his ideas with several naturalists, he needed time for extensive research and his geological work had priority. He was writing up his theory in 1858 when Alfred Russell Wallace sent him an essay that described the same idea, prompting immediate joint publication of both of their theories. Darwin's work established evolutionary descent with modification as the dominant scientific explanation of diversification in nature. In 1871 he examined human evolution and sexual selection in the descent of man and selection in relation to sex followed by the expression of the emotions in man and animals. His research on plants was published in a series of books, and in his final book, The Formation of Vegetable Mold, Through the Actions of Worms. He examined earthworms and their effect on soil. Natural Selection Natural selection is the differential survival and reproduction of individuals due to differences in phenotype. It is a key mechanism of evolution, the change in the heritable traits characteristic of a population over generations. Charles Darwin popularized the term natural selection, contrasting it with artificial selection, which in his view is intentional. Whereas natural selection is not. Variation exists within all populations of organisms. This occurs partly because random mutations arise in the genome of an individual organism, and their offspring can inherit such mutations. Throughout the lives of the individuals, their genomes interact with their environments to cause variations in traits. The environment of a genome includes the molecular biology in the cell, other cells, other individuals, populations, species as well as the abiotic environment. Because individuals with certain variants of the trait tend to survive and reproduce more than individuals with other less successful variants. The population evolves. Other factors affecting reproductive success include sexual selection and fecundity selection. 
Natural selection acts on the phenotype, the characteristics of the organism which actually interact with the environment. But the genetic basis of any phenotype that gives that phenotype a reproductive advantage may become more common in a population. Over time, this process can result in populations that specialize for particular ecological niches and may eventually result in speciation. In other words, natural selection is a key process in the evolution of a population. Natural selection is a cornerstone of modern biology. The concept, published by Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace in a joint presentation of papers in 1858, was elaborated in Darwin's influential 1859 book on the origin of species by means of natural selection. Or the preservation of favored races in the struggle for life. He described natural selection as analogous to artificial selection, a process by which animals and plants with traits considered desirable by human breeders are systematically favored for reproduction. The concept of natural selection originally developed in the absence of a valid theory of heredity at the time of Darwin's writing. Science had yet to develop modern theories of genetics. The union of traditional Darwinian evolution with subsequent discoveries in classical genetics formed the modern synthesis of the mid-20th century. The addition of molecular genetics has led to evolutionary developmental biology which explains evolution at the molecular level. While genotypes can slowly change by random genetic drift, natural selection remains the primary explanation for adaptive evolution. Survival of the fittest Survival of the fittest is a phrase that originated from Darwinian evolutionary theory as a way of describing the mechanism of natural selection. The biological concept of fitness is defined as reproductive success. In Darwinian terms the phrase is best understood as survival of the form that will leave the most copies of itself in successive generations. Herbert Spencer first used the phrase, after reading Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species, in his Principles of Biology in which he drew parallels between his own economic theories and Darwin's biological ones this survival of the fittest, which I have here sought to express in mechanical terms, is that which Mr. Darwin has called natural selection, or the preservation of favored races in the struggle for life. Darwin responded positively to Alfred Russell Wallace's suggestion of using Spencer's new phrase survival of the fittest as an alternative to natural selection and adopted the phrase in the variation of animals and plants under domestication published in 1868. In On the Origin of Species, he introduced the phrase in the fifth edition published in 1869, intending it to mean, better designed for an immediate local environment. While the phrase survival of the fittest is often used to mean natural selection, it is avoided by modern biologists, because the phrase can be misleading. For example, survival is only one aspect of selection, and not always the most important. Another problem is that the word fit is frequently confused with a state of physical fitness. In the evolutionary meaning fitness is the rate of reproductive output among a class of genetic variants. Biography of Charles Darwin's struggle for existence the survival of the fittest. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.